dietitians have a really important role to play as gut health ambassadors uh, because we can take the evidence and we can take our uh, knowledge and science and really translate that into practical advice when it's evidence-based. There is a lot of misinformation out there, so we have to be ready to um, approach it and challenge it and also at the same time provide people credible information. I like to talk with them on where that belief came from. And then from there, as I build trust with them, we talk about you know what the implications are of following something that is restrictive. So for example, a gluten-free diet should only be for patients with celiac disease, but it is becoming very trendy right now. And we know from the evidence that a diet um, that removes gluten has an impact, a negative impact on the microbiome. And when you can show patients uh, its implications in a different view, um, it tends to move them forward in a positive way. So they kind of say, oh, I didn't realize that that could actually have harm. And they tend to be more open to um, trying a different intervention that is evidence-based. My tip is to stay on top of the literature uh, I find Twitter a really great way to do that, following people that are opinion leaders in the area, um, gathering the evidence and connecting with one another. So actually one of my favorite resources um, is the Gut Microbiome for Health website because we, you guys have great science writers which take that evidence and translate it into something that is a little bit more understandable, which is really helpful. So I always say people connect with people and if we can start to have conversations with one another about what certain studies mean or how we can apply it.